I'm Robert Chandler. Um, I work mainly as a translator myself. Um, I've translated a number of both 19th and 20th century writers, um, especially Vasily Grossman and Andrei Platonov and Teffy. The most important thing that, for me, about Pushkin House is, um, well, two things. Firstly, that I don't actually know of anywhere similar. Um, I've heard Russians in New York you know, lament that they don't have anywhere like Pushkin House, that there is no centre which will put on a variety of different cultural and political and um, all kinds of different events. Um, but I particularly enjoy it, something I kind of started doing quite gradually and hesitantly, but um, the translation workshops I run here. It's not at all what I expected. Um, the more Russian native speakers come than I expected. And um, a few su surprisingly young people come. I've had um, quite a few 16 and 17 year olds, an increasing number. And um, people interact in all kinds of unexpected ways. Um, there was one rather charming um, weekend day when um, there were a couple of very young A-level students and um, several several um, middle-aged Russian women who were obviously very sort of touched and charmed at how, how well these young English people had um, learned Russian and how much they were contributing. It's one of the great things about teaching translation is that even every, almost everyone can contribute um, even someone who doesn't themselves overall come up with good translations, they're going to come up with good words here and there. Um, so I hadn't imagined so many Russians coming, but um, there are a lot of Russians living in London who are obviously just you know, very happy to have the chance to sort of talk in detail about things that are important to them in their own culture. And especially, you know, all the more so the people who really want to listen.